It's just, hey, hey, man, hey. Are you I'm, right? She has. I'm from Maine, man. I'm from Maine. Well, I'm from Washington. We have rivers too, and I've never been on one other than like a canoe and a kayak. Yeah. <laughs> We're talking like ten thousand uh, dollars for the body work. Are you nervous? Yes, very much so. Can you tell? Did a bit of ass. Oh, mom's even getting the camera out. You just want s'mores. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. This is what we want. Yeah. We've already tested the marshmallows to make sure that they're good. You've already tested the marshmallows. Yes. Yeah. So yeah we took two kind. We haven't had the square ones before. So our campground. I mean, obviously, it comes with a fire pit. It's it's right there, but. We bring out the solo stove because there's so much less smoke, so much easier to clean up. And it's not full of garbage like the, the fire, fire pit. pits that you find at a lot of campgrounds. Why do people leave all their garbage in there? I don't understand that. Okay, watch it. It's going to light on fire. Rotate it. Yes. Rotate. It's about ready to start lighting. There you go. Are you, that's how you want it? I think I may be on the verge of the world's most perfect marshmallow. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I mean, it is, oh, it's beautiful. It's a piece of art. Look at that. Oh, 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 I just gave it warts. <laughs> it may be beautiful, but it's not gonna be melted inside. It is gonna be, cause see how it's sliding off the thing? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, it's time. See how perfectly it just, oh, look at that. That is oh, that's so perfect. It came off like clean. And we just give it a little. I kind of lost the inside of my marshmallow. You think? <laughs> it's it's hard true. to make bean soup when you can't use the faucet but you need 64 ounces of water. And so I was like, um, let's do chicken broth. And how much is this bottle of water? Okay, and doing the calculator, trying to get the right amount in there. <laughs> it's kind of a mess in here. It's a hot mess, yeah. Oh man. It's a hot mess. But. We've really been just kind of relaxing. So today, uh, well, it's just doing bean soup in the Instant Pot because we're gonna be gone all day. And so we come back and they're, they're done. So we were thinking about things to do. So the Bend Sun River Thousand Trails is on the, I think it's called the Little Deschutes River and you can go out there and float it. We don't have anything to float on. And so somebody's like, oh, well, you could just go rent uh, some tubes. They'll take you out to the Little Deschutes and drop you in. And I was like, oh, okay. And then she goes, hey, um, my birthday's coming up in a couple weeks. Um, how about a rafting trip? Well, honestly, the rafting was only a little bit more than the renting the <laughs> boats. The The rafting was like 200 and renting the um, rafts to go down the river was going to be like 75. Okay, so, so that's, that's, but that, just, but we only it's would just get a little, that for $125, just a little bit more. It's just a little bit anyway, more. Anyway, we've been talking about doing a rafting trip for a long time. And uh, this is a good, easy beginner one for, you know, short stuff over there. For all of us, because none of us have actually ever been... Oh, you have? Have. She has. I'm from Maine, man. I'm from Maine. Well, I'm from Washington. We have rivers too, and I've never been on one other than like a canoe and a kayak. Anyway, so we're going to do a rafting trip for Susanna's birthday today, even though her birthday is not for another least, week, 11 days. Um, but hey, I guess I'm done planning. <laughs> Good, how are you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How many in your guys' group? Just three? Just three. Hello. How are you? Sir, we just need to put his I forgot to put his earplug in. Is this going to be scarier than the Pirates of the Caribbean? Is this scarier than Pirates of the Caribbean? Probably. The ride? The <laughs> ride? I don't think so. I don't think it'll be as scary as some of the other. T grip, thumb goes underneath, four knuckles on top. Now that you've grabbed onto that, 
I'll call you all to, if you let go, okay? We don't want any facial, facial trauma <laughs> from the uh, key grip. So Chris, you're gonna be our pace setter. Okay. And Sue, you're gonna synchronize with Chris. The important thing being is we sync up. When we're not in sync, it feels terrible and we're just fighting each other, okay? We wanna work together. Are you ready, bud? You excited? It's gonna be great. It's gonna be fun. It's not a big deal. Oh, we're coming in a big way. Yeah. Oh, oh. Over two. Oh, over two. And go forward. Hold and and stop. Yeah. Good job. And all forward, guys, all forward. Ah! Woo! Yeah! Good job, Corbin. <laughs> Why did I go back? Why did I go back? Yeah, take a break. Woo! Good job. Good job, Corbin. Good job, Adam. Good job, Adam. Good job, Adam. <laughs> you see? To the right, buddy. Watch down there. It kind of looks like the, the world just drops off. What does that mean? You see waterfall. water falling. That means a waterfall. It means get out of your boat and get to the shore. Crawl out. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Corbin, come on. Happy birthday. Thanks. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Yeah. Did you enjoy it? I had a helmet on. Yeah, it was fun. I want to do it again. I want to go to a different spot. That was pretty cool. Great, great guide. Very personable. And we learned that we like rafting. Yeah. It was fun. Uh, right there. And what should this be? Would this be like a... It's whatever you want it to be. I'm gonna put it as like some little mini saplings. Corbin talked me into this, uh, what is this thing? The Crayola air make marker sprayer thingy. It's actually really kind of fun. So he made a cool dragon. And of course, uh, I, I got involved. Dad made a field of, I don't know, it's a hundred degrees outside and Susanna is feeding No, I'm giving him water. We're giving water to Stripe. That's what we've named the little guy that hangs out in the area. We think Stripe is a guy. I don't know where his girlfriend is. She comes over once in a while. Um, but he hangs out here and in the area. But this whole R V park Loaded is just bunnies. rabbits, bunnies everywhere. And ground squirrels. And lots of ground squirrels. Now we have the finished product here. That is, what, what do you call this masterpiece? Wilderness? I call it the weird. Are you nervous? Yes, very much so. Can you tell? How are you set up? Are we set up? I'm a little. <laughs> but I'm a case. So, um,. I'm, I'll come over to you. This is a uh, well. This is gonna be our podcast setup. 
This it's is, our first one. I'm on the go. We're on the GoPro 8, so I can't tell what's in focus or in, in screen or not. So we got asked by this travel tribe, uh, Lisa. She does podcasts, blogs, etc. You should check her out. www.thistraveltribe.com. But she saw something that Susanna posted and invited us to come on her podcast. I don't know. Is this live <laughs> or is it? You know, no, they record they, it and then they put it out later. They're gonna record it and they'll probably bleep out all your swearing. She has a she has a potty mouth. I do not have a potty mouth. I have a bit of a cussing problem. <laughs> I keep it under control. On camera. Beep. <laughs> anyway, so this is really exciting for us. Uh, another really great opportunity, but we're just excited to share, you know, our story. But the big thing is we we actually really love helping people travel and figuring things out. And this is... Yeah. Well, we wish we could help more people travel. Yeah. Hop on. Subscribe. Come subscribe. on, guys. I mean, yeah, it doesn't cost you anything. It's free, it's free, right? And then you get, like, free travel information. You just watch. What? Anyway, so thistraveltribe.com. Uh, check out the, the, the blog, the, the broadcast. Hop on, subscribe to us. We're gonna go sit down and see what podcasts are. We're real tech savvy. Yeah. Welcome to this Travel Tribe podcast. I'm your host, Lisa Andrews. My hope is to share practical and exciting travel ideas with families that will give inspiration and simplify the travel planning process. Whether your adventures are close to home or across the globe, Let's explore the many family travel possibilities together. We're all a little tired this morning. We got up at five because we have to take candy and to get our slide out toppers um, reinstalled properly. If you watched our video a while back, the six month update, know what we're talking about, but today was the number five time in six months we're taking it for some work. This one's not an east to west thing. This is uh, whoever installed them. No, I didn't read the same instructions that I read. Okay, go ahead. We're good? Yeah. Okay. All right, we're hoping. Good morning. So yesterday we spent the whole day down in um, Bend and around Bend, Oregon. Uh, we dropped off Tandy to get the side out topper fixed. And let's just say things didn't go as planned, but they kind of went like we thought they would because it's just the way uh, the AC is really pumping this morning. Anyway, it went like we thought it would. So. Uh, Beaver Coach, the folks at Beaver Coach in Bend, Oregon, they're phenomenal. Really, really great customer service. Uh, took the time to explain how the toppers are put on, etc., etc. So what they figured out is that the toppers are torquing the T-molding, the extrusion, they call it something like that. Anyway, uh, there's a metal bar that runs behind that wall and that's what they were supposed to screw into when they installed them at um, location, we'll just call them location A, because anyway. So they did put those into the proper spots. They also said though that Beaver Coach doesn't use those brackets because they're terrible. Um, so it's bending the molding and then the pitch on the toppers is, they wouldn't have done it that way. They said per the manufacturer, it's within specs because the manufacturer says four to six inches. Well, when they install them, they like barely put it at four inches. So it's kind of within specs. Um, so overall they said roughly they were installed within specs, but not the way it should have been done. So it is causing torquing, um, but to, so they, this is the, the, the flange that the topper goes into. To move those, uh, obviously they have to pull the screws out or they just leave the flange in, but to do it right, they would have to pull those flanges out, seal everything, put new flashing, paint it, um, and all the toppers, we're talking like $10,000 uh, for the bodywork. 
<clears throat> so the company location A, they're definitely wanting to pay for that because again, they did somewhat follow what the manufacturer said. I don't know why you would put toppers on flat. I brought it up when we picked it up. I said, is that right? And they showed us a bunch of other ones. So apparently that's what they do there, which is weird because it's Connecticut, they get snow and you think you'd want it pitched so that the snow would come off. Anyway, all right, so what's going on now is um, Beaver Coach only had one day uh, and we don't have enough time to stick around to do the rest of the stuff. So we're dropping Tandy off where we got her in Appleway uh, RV in Spokane for a month in August, it may be a little bit longer. And we're gonna coordinate with them. Location A has a fix to get the, the team molding all straightened out. Uh, it is a bit of a process, but they're willing to pay for it. But basically, I guess it's taking off all the brackets and then placing small screws along the, the flanging, the T-molding, I don't know. And then put the brackets back on. That should straighten out the T-molding and then we should no longer have it where it's torquing and pulling away. But the other issue, here I'll show you on this one. So again, it's torquing. The reason I showed you that one too, that topper is actually okay as far as like the size of it. This one's okay. The one on our bedroom is okay. But the one on Corbin's bunkhouse, you can see how long it is and you see how far it's twisting and turning on those bars. So the length of that topper is causing extra torque. So not only is it lifting out, it's lifting or lifting up, it's also lifting out. So it is really putting pressure on that. Um, so what we were told is they should have used a 74 inch. They make a 74 inch, that's what they should have used because you wanna go one to two inches past the edge of the, um, the flashing on the front of the, the slide up. So his bunkhouse is 70 inches on the molding. So they should have gone a 74. Um, so now the process is when we get to Appleway, location A has said if they follow our instructions for fixing the T molding and then put this back on, if it is still torquing, then they will replace the topper on the bunkhouse. So a lot of steps to go through. Uh, I, I don't want to say that we've made progress because it's not really the progress we want, but I guess we have made some progress. Um, so anyway, yesterday was a long day of listening to different ideas about how to fix them. Um, but we're gonna get there tomorrow. We are on the road, hitting the trail, going through some mountain passes. Suzanne's gonna put her patch on and just sit back and relax. And, uh, and we'll go to Salem and hope for cooler weather. So thanks for watching. Right here, yeah. there you go. Look at that. Yeah. It's a good apple, huh? You know, we're leaving tomorrow. So, we will miss you and we appreciate your friendship <laughs> and we hope that you do not attack the new people moving in as they gotten out of control he insisted on more he was gonna come up the stairs i think he still might oh no it's it's way past your bedtime sir you need to go okay have a good night see you later stripe Thank you for watching. We'd love to share our journey with you. So hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you know when a new video is uploaded. And don't forget to leave your comments down below and hit the like button.